Over the last year, drug enforcement officials have seen a dramatic increase in illicit drug seizures, and they're concerned that if this trend continues, more teens could start using drugs. We have good morning, El Paso's Brianna Chavez joining us live with what the DEA wants you to know. Good morning. Good morning. Well, last year I spoke with Carlos Briano. He's a spokesperson for the DEA El Paso division, and he told me cartels were targeting teens online and even lacing fentanyl and other drugs. He says that trend, unfortunately, is not slowing down. Now, take a look at these numbers behind me that were just updated last, e last week. These are all courtesy of the DEA, and these are the number of seizures here in El Paso alone. So you can see a spike from 2020 to 2021, especially in fentanyl, and we're already nearing the numbers that we saw last year, and it's only May. A study from the University of Michigan revealed that teen drug use was actually down nationwide last year. But Brianna says that as the summer approaches, the DA is concerned that illicit drugs could get into the hands of your teens. And so we want to make sure uh, that parents have open, honest conversations with their kids about the dangers. Because uh, when you and I were their age, uh, experimentation with drugs could lead to, at worst, a uh, night at the hospital. But now experimentation can actually kill. And there are tons of resources out there that can help you start the conversation with your teen about using drugs. All of them are, most of them are online. There's GetSmartAboutDrugs.gov. That website is specifically targeted for parents. And there's also JustThinkTwice.gov, which is targeted for teens. Hillary? All right. Thank you so much for that great information.